that, that can affect you, and it did affect him. And we are here today with the parents, with members of the community, because we are not going to stand for systemic racism at the Pearland Independent School District. Kids should not be subjected to adults grabbing them and coloring in their hair with, or their scalp with permanent magic markers. That's assault, and we have sued for assault. And the Pearland Independent School District I was mad. I was I, I, I was I was really mad. And um cuz it's like like I say I I just imagine three people hold my son's head down with a marker, you know, against his will like and I'm not there to, I was I, I wasn't there to help him like I always been there since he been a, since he been born like nothing happened to my baby. You know and like now it's like I got to live with the fact that my son's head was like this, you know, and somebody was drawing with a with a marker. And let's keep in mind he had just got his haircut the day before. So a scalp was wide open. So y'all yeah, was mad. Like, I, I was really mad. And then I'm even more mad that here it is. I was really upset because, like I said, I wasn't informed. He had this before, so I didn't think that it was going to be an issue of him having the design again. Oh, you had this haircut before? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I was at it for a while. So how do you feel about your son's safety at this point? Honestly, I'm, I'm scared. Not... I wouldn't say scared, but I know that he don't like the attention, and I know that he's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So that is more so, I don't want him going through, this is going to be, he's going to remember this for the rest of his life, and it's his eighth grade year. I don't want him, you know.